as a fat person, I get a lot of abuse. For example, from people in cars. <laughs> people is just a nice word for men. It's not to be all like hashtag all men are trash, it's just that it's never women shouting from cars. It's just never, I like your fringe! Or, where did you get those glasses that really suit your face? It's like they have this idea that fat people are so desperate to get laid that anytime a van blasting loud music through open windows passes, we're just like, oh my God. Maybe that's the one. Here's a public service announcement. On behalf of all fat people, we don't wanna you either. Most of us actually have some uh, at home. At the moment, it seems as if body positivity is the new thing. It's all over Instagram. Thin to maybe chubby, white, feminine, cis women showing that actually, <laughs> if they try real hard, they can look a bit fat too. Don't get me wrong, society has made it very clear that no one, fat or thin, should be happy with their bodies. We're all struggling, but the people who are the most oppressed in society, like actually fat people, black people and people of color, queer people, trans people, Muslims, people with disabilities, are not at all represented in the body positivity movement. So here is what has happened and <laughs> strap in because this is excellent information. In 1967, as a lot of social movements called for justice, a fat in was staged at Central Park in New York. 500 fat people gathered to eat ice cream and burn diet books, which, FYI, I will now be doing every Sunday in Hyde Park. Join me. NAFA, the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance, was founded in America in 1969 by Bill Fabre in response to discrimination against his wife. Hashtag relationship goals. The next time someone is rude to you, if your partner doesn't start a social movement, hashtag leave him, hashtag boy bye. In 1973, two people called Judy Freespirit and Aldebaran wrote the Fat Liberation Manifesto, which called for fat people to have equal rights, declared that the diet industry was the enemy and stated that they were fully entitled to human respect and recognition. There were a lot of points in the manifesto and none of them were love your curves or hashtag your body is beautiful. Because it doesn't matter how much I love my curves, I will still be discriminated against on a daily basis and have a harder time buying clothes anywhere that doesn't have flowers on it. And I will still have men shout at me from cars. Fat has been made into body to make it more palatable and Liberation has been made into positivity to remove all accountability from the perpetrators. Body positivity is just another way of asking women to smile. Thankfully, women love being asked to smile. Oh, no, wait, no, wait. Um, women love having autonomy over their own bodies. <laughs> I always get those two confused.